Winning Cures Everything. Now for your hosts, Gary and Chris. What up, what up? Welcome in Winning Cures Everything College Football Gambling Picks for week number six. I'm Gary. And I'm Chris. And I'm John. And this is going to be a good week. I can feel it. I can feel it. We, we got to... Uh, Saying that for five weeks. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> but this time I really feel it. You really mean it. I really mean it. Johnny the Fish is in today. He is John Roser. You can find him on Twitter at John underscore Roser. I did that right, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Good. You got it. Good, good, good. I feel, I feel good about that. Uh, hopefully you feel good about us, even with all of the losing that we have been doing. But we're going to get out of this slump. I'm going to try to rub some uh, winning off on you. Yeah, I know, right? Like yeah. I, I could have used that crap last week. Yeah. <sighs> Go over to winningcureseverything.com. We have a gambling picks page where you can keep up with all of how crappy our gear has been in college football. Um, all of our picks will be posted there after this video is posted, of course. So go check that out. There is a football picks contest where you can go and enter in against us. Every week, hundreds of people have entered in. Everybody wins prize packs, etc. Uh, we will have another surprise prize. Surprise prize. You know, we did that last week. Well, they're, they're coming in again with something else this week. It'll be brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi. The show. It's brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. Did we ever figure out what last week's surprise prize was? It will be here on Wednesday. So we still don't know. We don't know yet. But there is a box of goodies that is coming to this me. Is a, this is a big build-up. It, it really is. It really is. And next week we will discuss what the what the big surprise is. But enter in the gambling or the uh, the football hopes, picks sir. contest. I got I got chill bumps thinking about it. That's weird. Amazing, amazing prizes from Tunica, Mississippi. It's going to be good stuff. Tunica, of course, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six incredible sports books along with all sorts of other stuff going on down there. Go to tunicatravel.com to find more information on our wonderful friends in the Delta. I think that should be the new tagline. How many games you got? I got four billion. Holy crap. I'm going to roll through. I got a lot. I'm, at some of these, I'm not even going to give reasons I can, I can other than... Quick. I can be quick with them, though. Yeah, I got, I got six. You got six. That's more than your usual. I know. Uh, I I've I got a lot. Eight. I got eight. Yep. So, I got eight this week. I got a lot. Good I got a lot. I'm feeling okay, though. Feeling good. Uh, I went three and five last week. I lost $142.42. Chris went three and four last week. He lost $30.30. The reason is you hit $200 ones. You hit two of your favorite ones. Um, overall, I didn't put enough on Ohio State. Hey, you should have put like Dude, we we should have. You know what we should do? We should all just like get our money together one week of whenever there's a game that we are super super confident on, like that one. I have that this week, and we just roll it all together and it's put not like a couple sport. grand on it. Oh wait, no, I I think you told me about this. I did. Yeah, you did. Okay. It's in the other video. I don't know if I would feel confident. Now you don't have to. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Overall stats, I'm 17 and 24 on the season. I am down 10.84 units. Chris is 13 and 16. He is down 4.74 units. And John, this will be his first time in here. So, yes. Uh, but he has been doing much better than us. So we figured, what the hell? Why not bring him in? I'm going to start us off because I've got a billion of these. I'm starting on Thursday night. Georgia Southern minus 10 at South Alabama. I'm not going to think too much about this. I'm putting $75 on it at minus 110. Georgia Southern 5-0 and against the spread, their last five against South Alabama. South Alabama 1-4 and against the spread in their last five home games. There is no home atmosphere there. Give me Georgia Southern all day long. They've played better teams. No, their record is not that great. I don't think it matters here. I think they destroy South Alabama on Thursday night. You want to give one since you got a bunch too? Yeah, I'll go. We're going to go Friday night. We'll go to the NIP. Look, you get you if you can get UCF as a four point favorite, you just take UCF. Don't pay attention. Don't read anything about the game. It does not matter. UCF is explosive as hell. If they were gonna have a letdown, they were gonna have a letdown spot against UConn last week, coming off that loss to Pitt if they could have just been down. No, they came out, beat the living crap out of them. I thought they covered that twenty eight in the first half against UConn. They covered the twenty eight in the first half. They're up forty what forty two nothing at halftime. Yeah. 
they're going to beat the living hell out of Cincinnati. Don't believe the hype of it being a Friday night and it's just a massive game for Cincinnati. When, when, when is the last time anybody talked about Cincinnati's home field advantage? Like when, what does that matter? UCF, it's not like they haven't played in front of big crowds before. They're going to go in there. UCF handles business. UCF wins by two to three touchdowns. Easy. That's a, is that one of your picks? Yeah, it's one of my – well, the game is one of my picks. I love the home teams – in these weeknight stadium games, home teams I getting have, home team getting points. Absolutely absolutely before before you get into it, points. before you get into it, I've got UCF minus four as well. I've got uh, fifty bucks on that one da, 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 at minus one ten. Oh, and, and parlay so, it with UCF like minus three or three and a half in the first half too. Parlay that. With, I'll, like, that's I'll, I'll take Cincinnati with at, 50, for fifty bucks. Okay, you're rolling Cincy for fifty. I'll take Cincinnati. My, Cincinnati. I like the Bearcats. Yeah. I talk about the Bearcats and their home field atmosphere all the time on the show. For fifty bucks at minus one ten. Oh, and it's it's big home field advantage. Yeah, at, Cincinnati, at Cincinnati, University of Cincinnati is going to show up for this game. Okay. Now, we, uh, I we mean, do, they'll show up. We've got friends that'll be at that game. They're just going to get their ass kicked, but they're going to show up. Yeah, they'll show up. All right, I've I'm, had my ass kicked before. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next one up for me: Air Force and Navy. I'm going under forty five. On this one. And the reason I'm doing that, I'm doing $75 on this. The under is 8-2 and two in this matchup in the last 10 years. Uh, the two overs were both totals that were in the 50s. These two teams know each other insanely well. And it, there's this little known secret that is the Service Academy unders. When they play each other, it hits at like 85%. It's ridiculous. Bet the number blind. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm going under 45 here. For seventy-five dollars. Well, yeah, they both run the ball, so the clock just moves. The clock is constantly going. Yeah. And now in the NFL, they fix this, right? They they set totals at like thirty-six. Yeah. Yes. In college, they don't do that. They don't do that. All right. Who's uh Who's next? Oh, I'll go. I'll go again. We're gonna stay with the AAC. Another big AAC matchup. Look, I gotta roll with them until they don't until they don't cover it, and that's SMU. You can get SMU minus seven in the first half. Against um, Tulsa, you can also get SMU minus 13 for the game. It was 13 and a half. You can get it 13. It's 12. 13 right now. I got, see, it, I got it at 12 and a half He sees it at right 12 now. and a half, so that line's coming down. Look, so I would say hold off on it. Hold off on it. This may be one. If the line keeps coming down, you maybe you can get it at 10 and a half. Maybe you can get it at 11. Ooh, um, you know, wait till Saturday. Well, wait till Saturday. Wait till Saturday. Um, and see what, see what you can see, get it see at. See what you can get it at on Saturday. Um now what, what are you going to take it at right here? You want to say 12 and a half? Let's well, say 12 and a half. I, I can, I'm seeing a line for 12 and a half. I'll give him 12 and a half. Yeah. That sounds good to me. Yeah. yeah. Take SMU minus him, 12 and a half. And then make him take something. What, what do you got on a first half line? It's seven. seven. Still seven. Still seven. First half, still seven. Still seven. So okay. you're taking, you're taking both of them? Yeah, yeah. We'll roll both Take both of them. Yeah. SMU first half. They've covered every first half line. You just got to gotta roll with it until it doesn't work for you. Right until she bucks you. What you got, buddy? All right. This team bit me a little bit, but uh, but I'm staying with them because we bet against bad football teams. And Boston College opened up at like plus three, plus four. Yeah. They might not be a good football team. It's now plus seven against Louisville. Louisville is a bad football team. I know that. I know that for a fact. Boston College might be. Louisville is one. Okay. Yeah. Taking $75 and putting it on BC plus seven. BC plus seven. So it's not seven and a half, it's seven. It's just seven. Just seven. Okay. Okay. No, so if I said seven and a half, I apologize. That's it's it. just seven. No, I think you and I had talked about that before. Hold uh, on. I'm, oh, oh, that's the second half, uh, first half lines. I'm sorry. I was about to say, why did it go back down to four? How did that happen in 10 minutes? That was a first half line. Okay, it's seven. It's seven. It's seven. I'm on the same thing for $75. That it's. I've got it at minus 120, but is yes. it? That's one of here. Minus, minus 120. Sorry, I didn't give you the juice. On no, that's cool. That's cool. I've first got, was 110. I've got the exact same thing here. Boston College plus seven. Look, Boston College, eight, one, and one against the spread in their last 10 as a dog. They outgained Wake Forest. They lost the game. They lost the game. But they outgained Wake Forest by over two yards per play last yes. week. This offense is humming. Louisville, yeah, they're, they're okay. You can see that they are progressing, but... I think Boston College has got some they, weapons. Louisville I think. just has a long way to go. That's yeah. going to be a rebuilding. And you, that's not to say that they'll lose this game. They could easily win the game, but I think it's going to be really close. And and you're giving me a touchdown with Steve Adazio? easily win it, but they, they could win it. All right, give us another. 
All right, I got another one. I've got Liberty minus five and a half. Just keep going back to that well. I keep going back to the Hugh Freeze well. I, they're playing really well. They look. They didn't cover last week against New Mexico by half a point, but they had a fumble going into the into the end zone. They had a missed field goal. New Mexico State is not a good football team. I'm telling you. Like this is. I, I don't care that they're going. You know, out to New Mexico State. This team. Uh, these teams will play twice this year. Uh, Liberty. They have improved. Very much so from week one of the season on. I love Liberty at minus five and a half here. I'm putting 50 bucks on it at minus 110. I'm with you. Same. I've got Liberty. Same thing. It's one of my picks. Yeah, I got Liberty. All right, well, give us another one then, Rose. Oh, I'm going to go back to the state of Ohio to like the real team in the state of Ohio. We don't need the crap at the nipper. We're going to go to the horseshoe in Columbus, <laughs> Ohio. We're gonna, Ohio State minus 10 and a half in the first half. Hey. I mean, keep minus taking ten Ohio. Half? Minus 10 and a half in the first half. Ohio State just keep, they've covered, they've covered the first half line with ease all five weeks of the season. Just keep going with it. I can Until tell it loses. Just keep going with it. And this may be the week it loses. Michigan State's got a really good defense, but if it's hit all five weeks, you just keep playing until it's, it doesn't. It's, it's hard to bet against Justin Fields right now and, and, and Day and, and what they're doing there. All right. Chris, it's your turn. I'm never going to bet against Matt Rule. I'm just never going to. I think okay. he's catching points at Kansas State. I think they have more talent. I think they're going to be better coached. And and I think they are the better team. I get plus two for this. I, I'm going to take plus two, 50 bucks. Give me the Baylor Bears. All right, I got to play on this one too. Do you? Um, I'm going with the first half total. It's at 24 and a half right now, the first half total. We're going to go under that. 24 and a half? That's what I saw this morning was 24 and a half when I was looking at it. It was the first half total. It is It is 24. It's 24. I saw it at 24 and a half this morning. Yeah. So it's at 24 right now. I'd still take the under on 24 too. Wow. For the first half. I'm like, Dick, what, this game's going to be like 9 to 6 at halftime or something. Like yeah, absolutely. 13 to 6. or I mean, it's... The, uh, yeah, I don't yeah, see I these. See these teams ain't scoring touchdowns in the first half. No, that's that's crazy. That is, yeah, under 24 is, I think that's definitely the play. Uh, I'm going to go down to Gainesville. And I got to tell you, I was wrong about Auburn. I was dead wrong. True freshman quarterback suck. I, I still don't think he's great. He's not great. I think the rest of that team is awesome, though. I think that team, and, and Gus back to playing, like, or to calling plays and everything else, look, I... I believe I have. How bad all does of this, this kill you having to say all this? I believe I you have can, all of this. You hate this, don't you? I hate I hate this so much. <laughs> I hate it so much. Um, but I I am I do my best to to make non biased picks, and if this is a pick that will make me money, now I will say this: if they don't cover this line, oh, I'm a hate one them line. even more. They don't cover one line, and all of a sudden they're dead. Uh, yeah. Okay. I think it's I think that's a fair trade. For an Alabama fan Go ahead. to wager on Auburn? Are you kidding me? Auburn, look, I'm going all in on this. Not all in. I'm going big. Oh, Bigger I like than that. I usually do. Okay. <laughs> I'm going one and a half units. I'm going $75 oh, okay. on it. Okay. Minus 110. I was getting uh, excited there. That Auburn defense against a backup quarterback. And I understand Florida's got a defense too. And Florida's going to be at home. And da 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 da. This team for Auburn, like, at, the line, I feel like the line has underestimated them pretty much every week. I completely agree with that. And they just continue to do it, and they're going to try and sell you this bill of goods about how Florida at home and da -da -da -da, Dan Mullen is great in big spots and we're, whatnot. We're going to go against our boy TJ on this one. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't okay. like Florida here. I don't either. I think Auburn wins this game going away. Trash is going to look like trash. That's yeah. just going to happen. He's going to look like a backup quarterback. I love it. Love it. All right, Rose. All right. Well, somehow I hit a button on my phone and I deleted my picks, so now I'm having to remember oh, them. Man. Now I'm having to remember them off the top of my head. But uh, we're gonna go to uh, I believe it's in Lubbock, Texas, is the game, and that is where the uh, the Fighting Mike Gundys. Oh yeah, it is. The minus Fighting 10. Mike Gundys are taking on the Texas Tech Red Raiders, and Oklahoma State in the first half is minus five and a half. Is that right? Yep. Well, minus six. It's minus six now. Yeah. Okay, I can get it under a touchdown. I'm going to roll with the Oklahoma State Cowboys. I also love the over-under. I see you sitting it at 32. I saw it at 31 this morning. 
was the over-under for the first half total in that game in Texas Tech, Oklahoma State. Dude, the, the, these teams may have a combined 50 points by halftime. Yeah. <laughs> like, that, that is an well, easy right, so, over to but, me. Hold on. Texas Tech doesn't have Alan Bowman right now, and their backup quarterback, not great. Yeah, but Oklahoma State hadn't played defense against anyone. Uh, yeah, you got to. I mean, they haven't play. played defense against anyone. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're, they're pretty good against Kansas State, but again, that was a weird game because it got delayed for a couple hours. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just. Whenever these games take eight hours, I just don't know that you yeah. know anything about there, There's it. so many weird things because then you got to go back out there and warm up for 20 minutes. But, yeah, I, I, first half over, Oklahoma State. Uh, I, I like Oklahoma State. First, I like Oklahoma What's the game? With the game lines, what, 13? Yes. No, 10. 10? Oh, 10. God, give me Oklahoma State. Yeah. yeah. Buy, buy the hook. Buy it to nine and a half and take Oklahoma State. All right, so Oklahoma State minus Chuba nine Hubbard. and a half. Chuba Hubbard. Chuba Hubbard. I love that. He is just a stud. Yeah, we, we talked about that on the recap show. He is, I mean, yes. almost 1,000 yards in yeah, five weeks. He is unbelievable. All right, so Oklahoma State minus 9.5. Oklahoma State first half minus 6. And first half over 31 on that. Chris, what you got? I, I tried to make them a thing. And then I came on here and said, they're not a thing. I'm going to stop. I can't stop, and I have a problem. And I'm going to take Northwestern plus seven and a half for 50 bucks against Nebraska. Man, I thought about that. I thought about that, too. That's one of the ones I texted And I'm going to have about. Northwestern money line. I assure you. I'm not giving that as a pick. I'm not doubling down again. Hey, no, what no, what, what can help? I'm, no, here's why I can be with you. I, I get it, because, because one thing that Northwestern is going to need to score is turnovers, and one thing Nebraska loves to do is turn the ball over. Yeah. I just think Nebraska is a bad football team, and people care about that name. People care about that reputation. Yeah. They care about the name on the front of that jersey, and they're not looking at the names on the back of that jersey. No, you're, names you're on the back right. of those jerseys are not good at football. You know what? That's what they do for a living, and then I say it. That's just tough. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's, I, I'm so worried because Nebraska got housed last week. I'm not worried at all about that. But I, I, but I do that. love – I wouldn't worry about that. I have tried so hard to make Northwestern a thing, and I have lost so much money on Northwestern. There is not one team that I've lost more money on than Northwestern this year. Well, then we're going to go spend some more money on them here in a few but weeks. I'm, but, I'm, but I'm buying them now. I'm buying them right you now. Could, you could have made it all oh, back we, if you just be betting Ohio State every week. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. We're going to watch them against Ohio State. Yeah. Oh, man. It's Friday night football game, home team weeknight. That's going to be nasty. Is it Chicago? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to be up there for it. What, what day is that? It's a Friday night. Oh, what, what? The Bears of are playing, October? The Bears are playing the 49ers at Soldier Field on that Sunday. No, I think no we don't the play Saints. the Bears this year. They're playing the Saints. Yeah, we don't play oh, the Bears the this Saints? year. This is like the first year in forever we have not played the Bears. Um, I'll be damned. I thought that was... Yeah, man, good luck. Middle of October in Chicago. That don't sound fun. It's it'll, be it'll be a good time. It'll be cold as hell. Hey, no, 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 no. It ain't going to be like it was when I went in December. I'll tell you that. Um, okay. Give me a game. You're up. I, you know, it's my turn. And I'm, I'm out after the next two. Okay. Y'all are going to love this one. I promise. Texas San Antonio. Oh, God. Plus one and a half at UTEP. That's right. I got UTSA and UTEP. 50 bucks at minus 110. Texas San Antonio is a better team than UTEP. They just are. Numbers show it. Everything shows it. I don't care if they're going on the road. How many people in the country know that? UTEP sucks. Now, UTSA also sucks. But UTSA does not suck as bad as UTEP. This is like the Texas version of Akron and UMass last week. But this is like way down in there, and, and nobody's going to pay attention. Did you hit that game? Did I what? Did you hit that game? I did hit that game. I hit I'm UMass last week. That's good. I'm, I'm just I, I hit UMass money line and the plus seven. I don't know if that GD came through. I apologize for that. I swear <laughs> a lot of them are trying to say the F word, trying to say GD. I don't want to get yelled at by my mama. God, yeah. I can't believe so it. So I got UTSA plus one and a half for 50 bucks at minus 110. Uh, Rosa, right? you're next, right? Colorado. <laughs> no, dude, yeah, I told you. Kevin Sumlin has done crap since he lost Johnny Manziel. Um <laughs> I don't buy their four and one start. Keep in mind they did lose to Hawaii. Um, 
Hawaii, again, also, they're really good on the island. They were really good and killed my parlay last week, too. Yeah. Um, I guess uh, by, by, by destroying Nevada. At least I didn't have to care once I hedged, you know? Yeah. Um, I, 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 I didn't have to care anymore. Hedges but, are for landscapers. And it was... <laughs> And it was and it was over quick. Smartest movie. Yeah, it was. Made. Yeah, I went out of road with it. Um, I lost it. Yeah, Colorado. <laughs> we're gonna go minus minus. What is it? Three right now for the game. I got three. Yeah, got three. Colorado three? minus three for the game, and we'll and we'll do Colorado. What is it? One and a half for the first half. Uh, yeah. No, hang on. It's four for the game, and the three was for the first half. Three for the first half. Damn, that first half line went up. It was one and a half yesterday. I, I kind of hate that. Yeah, that's the first half. Yeah, all right. Whatever. Colorado. But I, let's just roll minus four for the game. We'll minus Colorado, four for the minus game. Minus four for the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. We're good on that. Chris, what'd you get? Because that, that could be one of those where Arizona is, like, up three at half. I mean, that, that ain't going to be shocking if they're up at halftime. But Colorado's going to win the game. Better team. This team got beat by, like, a million points at home last week. But they got beat by really good football. Nebraska. No, God, I'm going to just bet against Nebraska. <laughs> the other team that got beat by a million points at home and scored zero, Maryland. Maryland football, guess what? They get Rutgers. They're going to go up to New Jersey. This is a little quick train ride up to New Jersey, up to, the, up to yep. the Atlantic coast. They're going to beat the hell out of New Jersey. This team can score points with anybody when they don't play a defense. And guess what? They ain't playing a defense. Rutgers don't play defense. I got 13 and a half. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to hate myself for this. I'm only going to put 75 on it strictly because when and we're going to Friday, you'll get a little bit of insight from Jeff Ma. He tells me these sites like Vegas insider are all kind of bullshit and they don't really matter. But a hundred percent of the people are betting <laughs> like they oh, have a damn soul betting on Rutgers this week. No. So that scares me off. By not putting a house note on it, but you know, give me seventy five dollars. All right, seventy five. Give me hundred dollars. Give me hundred dollars on it. I get another <laughs> twenty five in there because I'm gonna be mad when I when I got scared off because of something Jeff said I shouldn't be afraid of. And it is same pick. Boom. Boom. If Rutgers. If, if, if I can get if I can get a team facing Rutgers and I get them under two touchdowns. Yeah. I'm gonna freaking take that team against Rutgers. I, I really wish that. That. Look, Syracuse is better than Rutgers. I really and wish what we, Maryland did to Syracuse. I like. wish we could get alternative lines around here. Basically, you need to be in like South Point, Westgate. Those, yeah, those yeah, are yeah. Very Makes few sense. places in the country that get your alternative lines. I'd I'd lay twenty one in this game if I could get like plus two fifty or something. I'd, I'd I'd absolutely buy all those points. I'd I would I take an it. alternative line. I said it last week against Nebraska. I'll say it against this team. I, I think I think Maryland's just going to kill them. You just got blown out. You scored zero points. Lockley's and there's some pride gonna, there. He's yeah. just going to try to score all the points he can. When, and Rutgers' coach just got fired, so there's no, like, you know, win-win for the Gipper or anything going on here. No. So, yeah, I could uh, I could see it. Um, all right, next one up for me. I've actually only got two left because, uh, because we had so many similar. Good. Friday night. Friday, 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 Friday. I, now, I feel Friday. weird about this one. Okay. I like weird, though. I'm taking San Jose State. Why? Minus six and a half against New Mexico. New Mexico is a terrible football team. New Mexico team. sucks. San Jose State is actually not a bad football team. Well, they... Yeah. That, Arkansas, Arkansas okay, fans how about this? absolutely believe they're not a bad football they're team. They're a bad football team, but they're not as bad as New Mexico. They're, they've got the game at home on a Friday night. New Mexico just had to uh, travel all the way over to Lynchburg, Virginia. And now they're traveling all the way back over to San Jose. San Jose State can score. Oh, yeah. Like, this is a pretty good football team. Uh, New Mexico, 2-8 and eight against the spread in their last 10. San Jose State, 7-3 and three against the spread in their last 10. I like San Jose State to cover here at home. 50 bucks, minus 110 on a Friday. Uh, anybody else got picks left? I got one. You, Go do you? Tell yeah. You got, you um, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll with the Tigers. Memphis, Louisiana, Monroe. Um it okay. looked that line opened at what fourteen? I think it's up to sixteen now. Um, Memphis, Louisiana, fourteen and a half. Fourteen and a half. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, I hey, that might be a first half line. The first half was like eight and a half. It's nine now. So yeah, nine now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a half. So yeah. Guess. See, I don't know about the first half line. I wish. It, I tend to think they cover, but I could see Memphis. We've seen Memphis 
first the, half come out a little. Yeah, they're half, they're right. They're a second half football team. Second half team. That I, defense makes adjustments at halftime. Yes, they do. Like nobody I've seen yes, so far. Yes, this year. they do. And they'll do the same here. I take the 14 and a half by the hook, make it 14, take the Tigers. I think they'll run away in the second half. I think Memphis wins the I, game by I'm three with, touchdowns. I would be looking more to I want to see what the second half line is. Yeah. That, that, that is one, yes. See what happens in the first nope. half. And if you can get Memphis, like, minus. the second half of football. Yeah, if you can Ole get Miss Memphis. Had a really good second half. Outside of them? Yeah, yeah, Ole Miss had, a, a, what, 10 points in the second half? Yeah, but that, well, Memphis didn't do anything either, so. Well, agreed, but that's, like, that ain't much. If but you could get Memphis half. in the second, if you get a second half line of Memphis, like, minus nine or something. Yeah, I would, yeah, I would love it. With it love yeah. it. All right, what, uh, what was your? My last bet, this, this is a dog, dog bet, okay? I, I like dogs. This is as dog as it gets. I Purdue Penn State was a 16 point line when it opened. Moore is out. Okay, Moore is an yeah, all Rondo world, Moore is fantastic. Is all all world athlete. Yep. He ain't worth 12 points. He's just a, no one in college football is worth 12 points to a spread in Vegas. It went from 16 to 28. I'm, you think, uh, you I'm think gonna Cam take Newton? All, a... No. Not, not worth 12 points. No. No, you're probably right. No. Because the rest of that team was really good. Yeah. So, no. I'm going to take all 28 of those points. I'm going to work under an assumption that Penn State beat the brakes off of Maryland as just a point of, and you talked about this, Franklin just hates he's got a, team. He's got a he's vendetta. Gonna, he's, he holds a great I don't know that he's going to do that against this team. I also think this backup quarterback looked fine. Once again, I'm not. I'm no longer afraid of backup quarterbacks. I, I'm just not. Unless sense. you show me you can't play, I, I especially when you have an offensive minded coach. I trust Brom. That team's going to have some pride. They're going to fight. They get beat. They've lost a lot of games this year, but they're going to show up and play. They're not getting dusted. They're just not. One player doesn't make 12 points. I think that's completely asinine. Would I have laid 16? Hell no. Would I lay 28 or, or, or catch 28? Yeah, I'll take all Yeah, you'll catch 28. All right, what are you doing at 50, 50 bucks? 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Minus 110. It's a dog, ugly, ugly game. I get it. All right, I'm giving out a money line parlay. I didn't have time to really look at a money line parlay, but I'm, I will have one later this week. I but, hey, wait, wait. You're, you're doing a money line parlay. You're not a... Yes. What, you bet on UMass Akron last week. You're not going to do the big UConn South Florida game this no, week. No, 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 no. I, I, I look. I did my I did my crappy. Team. Oh yeah, you had your oh, UTSA. UTSA, UTEP. UTEP. We yeah. don't need any more of that. Let's keep uh, going. Here's what I got. I got Army plus one thirty five, Baylor oh. plus one hundred five, oh. Buffalo plus one forty five, SMU minus five hundred, Memphis minus six twenty five. Ten bucks on that pays out at one fifty four thirty. I'll take those ten dollars. So will the other guys. So. <laughs> Just saying, if you don't, if you want to save yourself a trip down, I'll, I'll take those two Lincolns. I uh, I will tell you this, I don't feel great about it, and I'll probably round robin the underdogs here. Um, but as far as uh, purposes of the show, cool. Ten bucks. I mean, I'm putting down what point two units. Yeah, nothing crazy. So, and that's to win one hundred and fifty four dollars. I think I kind of like that. All right, anybody else got any any danglers? No, I'm done. They're done. That's going to wrap up the college football gambling picks for week number six. At this moment, we're going to bring in our buddy from Tampa, Mr. T.J. Reeves. All right, on with us to talk a little college football, Mr. T.J. Reeves from the Three Dog Thursday podcast. You can find him on Twitter, at Buck Sideline Guy. T.J., College football has been a weird beast this year. Uh, we've got John Roser in with us. I want to tell you about something that he and his buddies did last week, okay? Wait. It, it was a nine-teamer. Nine-team right? parlay, yeah. Nine-team <laughs> parlay. Only nine. Only nine. Okay, Only nine. make it a little more challenging next time. Go ahead. $50 to pay out, what, 13000 Almost fourteen grand. Almost, yeah. It was almost fourteen grand. All eight of the first ones hit. He had Nevada <laughs> minus one in the first half for the late one. And I texted him and said, okay, you might need to think about hedging this. <laughs> and he had already thought about it, yeah. thank goodness. Yes. Uh, but, yeah, they, they hedged, and 
In it's, like, instead of instead of all of us walking away with like almost three grand each, we're going to be walking away with uh, I think we're collected between four and five hundred each. But not bad for five people that only put in ten bucks to turn ten bucks into four or five hundred dollars. Pretty good. Not too uh, sure. What, so so remind me again, uh, winning cures guys. Why do you need me this week if you've got John there to give you underdogs? <laughs> if you get an eight teamer, well, no. Here, or, here's, here's the best I mean, part. Come on, they are all first half lines. Yeah. they are all first. Ah. My first. I've done first half parlays each of the last two weeks. We've done me and me and buddies that I work with. We throw ten bucks in each, and we do these big first half parlays. So it was a nine teamer this week. The previous week it was an eleven teamer. So that like 20, <laughs> 20 games, twenty games. So twenty games total. <laughs> I, no, no, no. So I have people, they give me crap for betting first half lines. I'm like, if you would have taken all of those 20 bets and bet them as straight bets, 17 and three. Good gracious. Wow. Yeah. No, 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 you so what you're lines. saying, Seekers and uh, Giannini, what you're saying is you need me for the whole game. No, you no, got no, John a, for the first half, but you need me for the yes. whole game. I got it. Okay, but also, good. also, you bring us the dog aspect of it because – John is rolling with a lot of favorites. Yeah, I had all fa- I had all favorites in, in the one this week. It was all favorites. And it, and sometimes somehow that just feels dirty. I don't know, I don't know about you. Oh, well, I would I wouldn't be able to stand for it. I'd rather lose. The well, money. I, lo- I, I you, love the dogs, especially the dogs with fleas. And we had a dog with fleas with UCLA last week, coming off of that game against uh, Washington State, where they they just uh, disregarded defense. It was like eleven on nine. In that one, and so then last week UCLA followed it up at Arizona, and we had that on Three Dog Thursday last week. Uh, it was it was an enjoyable uh, it was an enjoyable Saturday night to watch that close game, and say, even though UCLA missed the last second field goal, it still was a cover for them. So we we love the college doggies, and there's a there's a couple of interesting ones, including a a a dog in the Sunshine State. That yeah, I'm looking that's at a on this massive show. matchup. Two thirty p.m. on CBS, Florida and Auburn. It, look, it's happening right down the street from you. Uh, you won't be there. <laughs> You'll be in New Orleans, but I will be in New Orleans with my Buccaneers. But ESPN's College Game Day will be there. Yes. It is obviously the CBS huge game uh, out of the swamp, and this kind of goes with the theme. Uh, for this weekend, uh, uh, why are those guys favored? I know Auburn, huge win against Texas A&M. They beat Mississippi State last week. But you, you rarely you rarely get Florida as an underdog at home over the past few years. They were an underdog last year against LSU. Chris Giannini knows that. His hand is up, even though I can't see him, uh, because he's an LSU guy. And Florida won the game outright. So you, you really in the last, I think it's four seasons, they have not, they've only been one time a home underdog. They're getting three here. Kyle Trask again, got a good tune-up game against Towson last week. We're going to take a strong look at Florida on three dog Thursday with the Auburn Tigers. Now, I think that's, I, I actually think that's a pretty good pick because when I saw this line was just how, it, it feels like Auburn's getting better every single week. That de- that defense is just, I mean, it's like, I cringe at some of the hits that they make. Like it is violent, but it, it to me it feels like the line's too low. Like Auburn, it, to me I was like Auburn should be favored by like six, you know, the, or five or six. I, I thought the line, I thought it just made it look three, made it look way too easy. Like it's begging you to bet Auburn minus three, and it's Florida at home, and it's Dan yeah. Mullen, and I don't like betting against Dan Mullen because that dude could pull out like ten trick plays on Saturday. Well, and and Todd Grantham, yeah, I mean Todd Grantham's fantastic. Uh, getting off of that one, let's let's move into another one that I wanted to ask you about. See if maybe you got a lean on this one. Texas is a really big favorite going mm. into Morgantown against West Virginia. You got any? You got any leanings this way? You are you are playing my song. I'm not going to sing "Country Road Take Me Home" here to "By God West Virginia," <laughs> but uh, they, that is eleven. Chris, what is that? Ten and a half or eleven at the time that we're talking for West Virginia? It's eleven at o'clock. home. Uh, so in this in this instance. Uh, West Virginia has covered three of the last four that they lost to Texas in Morgantown two years ago. Obviously, that's Dana Holgerson. This is Neil Brown, the new coach. But West Virginia, three covers in the last four in this series. They have played much better in their last couple of games, including the win at Lawrence. Chris and I both had Kansas on Three Dog Thursday when he was a guest a couple of weeks ago. And West Virginia won that game. They've now had the bye week to get ready at home, and I just I believe that is too many points. Uh, I, I know Texas, uh, with Ellinger, the quarterback, and, and uh, the, uh, the shootout with LSU, they've, get, they've got 
They've got offense, but I, I like West Virginia to keep it close, if not pull the upset in Morgantown. And is Texas looking ahead to the Oklahoma game, which is later now in the month of October? It's usually right around the first Saturday in October, but it's now later in October. Is Texas maybe on a look ahead to Oklahoma as well? That That's a strong lean. Uh, we'll, we'll confirm it on the Three Dog Thursday podcast, but I'm looking strongly at the Mountaineers. I absolutely love it. All right, we're going to let you go with that. We've kept you forever, and we do appreciate you hopping in every week. He is TJ Reeves from the Three Dog Thursday podcast. You can find him on Twitter, at Buck Sideline Guy. TJ, we appreciate you, buddy. Always good to be with you guys. Thank you. All right, we appreciate TJ being in here with us. Of course, go listen to the Three Dog Thursday podcast. Check that bad boy out. Go to winningcureseverything.com. Go check out the gambling picks. Make sure you enter the football picks contest, football pick em contest. Boss Hog won it last week. We'll see if somebody else with a more interesting name can do it next week because I don't think it's going to get any better than that. Good gracious. Uh, go over to tunicatravel.com. Check out all the stuff that our friends in the Delta have going on in Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. If you're on YouTube, hit subscribe. If you're on Apple Podcasts, hit subscribe. Leave a nice review. Share the show out with your buddies. We'll see you all again next week. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.